Rapid development of the oil industry in Azerbaijan, Baku in the second half of the 19th century, paved the way for the development of other industries. A great industrial zone called Black City was created within a short period of time. Growing number of factories and plants in Baku led to an increase in the number of fire cases. The idea of creating a firefighting team in Baku was put forward for the first time in the late 70s and early 80s of the 19th century. The decision of Baku City Duma on the 11th of January 1884 gave an impetus to setting up firefighting units not only in Baku but also in Azerbaijan. While discussing the issue of establishing an on-duty firefighting unit in Baku during the meeting of the Duma, Azerbaijan's oil magnate Hadji Zeynal Abdun Tagiyev proposed to use one of his houses for the new unit. On the 16th of May 1885, the Duma passed a relevant decision regarding the supply of firefighters. Thus, in 1885, the first small firefighting unit consisting of one fire warden and ten firefighters was set up. Over the years, the Fire Protection Service had been formed in an organized way and had stepped into the process of improvement since the 1970s of the 20th century. The heroism and bravery, determination and courage shown in extinguishing the strong fire in the Bahar field in 1971, the commitment to the service went down in history of Azerbaijan's Fire Protection Service as the brightest page. Extinguishing of the fire on the field was directly under the control of the nationwide leader Haydar Aliyev. The heroism and selflessness demonstrated by our firefighters during the accident was highly appreciated by Haydar Aliyev. Preventing an accident is easier than eliminating its consequences after it happens, said the nationwide leader and led the foundation of the powerful fire protection strategy in the oil industry. Under the executive order signed by the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, on the 16th of December 2005, 130-year fire protection service was subordinated to the Minister of Emergency Situations and started functioning as the State Fire Protection Service of the Minister of Emergency Situations. Major Objectives and Tasks Taking urgent rescue operations to extinguish fires and eliminate their consequences. Working out rules to deploy forces and means for organizing firefighting operations in the country and exercising control over their preparedness as envisaged in the legislation. Carrying out scientific research, technical tests and inventive activity in the field of fire safety, etc. The technical park of the State Fire Protection Service has been equipped with various MAN, Iveco, Magirus, Nissan Petrol, Kamas fire trucks, as well as fire ladders made in Germany, France, Russia and other developed countries. Also, firefighting units have been equipped with the state-of-the-art firefighting equipment, modern helmets, spatial heat-proof clothes, respiratory protective equipment, thermal vision devices, and modern communication equipment. The forces of the State Fire Protection Service are capable of successfully fighting fires not only on shore, but also offshore. Six Vicar firefighting vessel, equipped with powerful firefighting equipment, modern navigation system, and one fireboat, play an important role in extinguishing fires in the oil and gas industry facilities in the Caspian Sea. In case of large-scale fires onshore and offshore, firefighting aircrafts and helicopters owned by the aviation unit are given to the State Fire Protection Service. State Fire Protection Service also has groups consisting of firefighters, rescuers who attended special rescue and medical training in the regions. These rescuers help those trapped in the automobile in case of serious traffic accidents. Today, one can say with full confidence that the activity of the State Fire Protection Service is in line with the present-day requirements and the service successfully copes with its tasks. The Minister of Emergency Situations, always on guard of safety.